Hi everyone, my name is Dipankar and I'm an R&D advocate at Click. Welcome to the experiment series. Today we are going to talk about sentiment analysis in ClickSense. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to learn how to do sentiment analysis in ClickSense using a third-party machine learning connector called Amazon Comprehend. Sentiment analysis is a vital topic in the field of NLP. It has easily become one of the hottest topics in the field because of its relevance and the number of business problems it has been able to solve. In simple terms, sentiment analysis is the process of determining whether a piece of writing is positive, negative, or neutral. Now, as a ClickSense data analyst, you may need to process textual data, derive insights, and be able to visualize those insights within ClickSense. With our new augmented analytics capabilities, you can now integrate the ClickSense data model with Amazon Comprehend and be able to perform those analyses. Before we get started, make sure you understand the prerequisites. First, your tenant admin needs to turn on Enable ML Endpoint option in the management console. And you need to have access to third-party ML models that exposes REST-based API endpoints. Now let's jump in straight to our how-to section. For this tutorial, we'll use a dataset that has reviews from a product from Amazon. The dataset looks like this. It has the product and the reviews for that particular product. So we will start our process of building our app. So we started creating a new analytics app here and we'll call it Comprehend Demo Created. Okay, uh, the first step for us would be to load the source data, which is the data set that I showed you right now. So I'll just go to the data load editor. Uh, you can also use other means to load the data, but I usually follow this process. So I'll just create a folder connection. I have the data set already here and I'll just select it. Okay, and I need both of the tables, both of the sheets, and I'm gonna just say insert script. However, I'm going to like rename the table names here to reflect the right ones. So let's call this reviews table. Also, we will add a new field here uh, by using the function called row number as row ID. The significance of this is that this will allow us to create associations between this table and the table that will be returned by the third party ML system, which in this case is Amazon Comprehend. And this will allow us to take advantage of Click's unique associative engine during our analysis. So we'll quickly load the data. All right, so the data is loaded. Now we will create a new connection since we are going to create a Amazon Comprehend sentiment analysis case. So we are going to use Amazon Comprehend connector from the analytic sources. All right, so this brings us to the screen where we can define a connection. So our configuration is basically, uh, the configuration that we want to select is a sentiment analysis because like we are going to use that for our purpose, this, this purpose. We'll select the AWS region and we'll select languages English. Uh, okay, so these are the AWS access keys and secret keys that you need to get from your AWS Comprehend platform or in general AWS platform. So in this case, I will just use it from, yeah, one of my notes and okay. All right, I think uh, so. the only thing that remains is the name and I'll just rename it to Amazon Comprehend Video and just say test connection. Okay, our connection has succeeded and now I'll just create it. Perfect. Okay. Now the, to send the data from ClickSense to Amazon Comprehend, we have to be able to select the data in our connection and send it. So to do that, I will select my connection, which is my Amazon Comprehend demo and go to the select data option. Okay, here I have to enter the table from which we are sending the data. So in this case, our table that we had is basically the reviews table and we are going to send the review field. So I'm going to just say, okay, let me just, yeah, so it's reviews and the review field. So let's just quickly pass this field. 
Okay, and you can see that um, once we enter the table and the field that we are going to send, um, the table that is being written is automatically populated. And here we can select or deselect the field to get it to our click sense data model. Uh, in this case, we'll just keep all the fields and just say insert script. Okay, so we have the sentiment table now and I think the one mistake that I did here was that the review field was actually called uh, capital review and I'll just change it to the capital later. Okay. Uh, also to bring out the association between this table and the reviews table, I'll just use the same row number function and let's say it as row ID. Perfect. Now let's load the data. All right, so our sentiments are also fetched correctly. One of the important things to note here is uh, the script uh, expression uh, syntax. So as you can see here, here we have, we are using a server-side extension script and a function called script evolve. So the script evolve is a server-side function here. And as you know, we have to use a server-side extension function to communicate with third-party ML models. Uh, here, what you see here is the endpoint name and it has our connection name. And the last part is basically the table name and the table field that we are sending. Okay. So now that we have all the, you know, information that we needed, I think we can just quickly go to the data model viewer and see how our associations are and if everything is aligned to what we are expecting. Okay. So we have the product table, which is related to the reviews table. And then we have the sentiment backs here. So if I want to see the sentiments, we can see that for each of the row that we sent, we got a response in terms of sentiment, whether it's positive, mixed, or negative. And we also get the scores for each of the sentiments that are being computed by Comprehend. So our final step is to do some analysis so we can understand the sentiments of the product reviews uh, that are processed by Comprehend. So let's go to the sheet and create a simple bar chart to display the count of each sentiments. So I'll just pull a bar chart here and really just use the sentiment uh, field that we got from Comprehend and look how easily it is integrated within Click's Sense ecosystem now. And I'll just say count of row ID to get the total number. Uh, just for appearance perspective, we'll just change the color to uh, dimension based, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so now we have uh, the sentiments and their counts. Uh, we can see that there are a lot of positive sentiments and there are mixed as well as negative sentiments. So that brings us to the end of this exciting demo. Hopefully this has given an idea of how to do sentiment analysis and in general, textual analysis in ClickSense. Let us know what you think of this video. Thank you.